Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Iwata Custom Micro CMC Plush version 2. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to airbrushes.com who sent me the Custom Micro Mate for review. If you check the description box down below you'll find a direct link to their web store and you can go and check them out for yourselves and find out more information on this airbrush. Ok guys, so let's take a look around the box. So taking a look around the box guys, we can see on the side of the box here, we've got different applications that the Iwata Custom Micron can be used for. So we've got fine art applications, uh, we've got special effects, automotive and the hobby that I'm particularly interested in, which is miniature scale model painting. Ok, and as we take a look around the other side of the box, there's a very important addition to this Awata. It's a holographic sticker. Now, it's very important that you buy your Awata from a reputable company like airbrushes.com to make sure you're getting a genuine Awata product. Okay, guys, so uh, lastly, we'll take a look at the back of the box and we can see that it's telling us some of the key features so if we look at A, it's a gravity feed dual action airbrush. It's got a taller trigger now with a better grip system on it than the version 1 of the Custom Micron. It's got a cutaway handle, as we can see here. It's got the preset handle at the back, which is like a paint limited, uh, limiting system. Sorry. Uh, it's got the crown cap dock at the back where the crown cap can be screwed onto the back if you want to take it off from the front of the airbrush. Um, if you're doing really, really fine close-up detail work, you might want to take the crown cap off there. And it's nice that you've got that little dock on the back of the airbrush to put the crown cap on. Um, it's got the MAC valve at the front, which stands for Micro Air Control, which lets us control the air, which we'll show you later on in the video. And it also comes with a moisture trap. Okay guys, so let's take a look uh, at the airbrush outside of the box. There's uh, an important addition to the Awata airbrush that uh, is exclusive to airbrushes.com in the UK where they extend the 5 year warranty to 10 years. That speaks volume of the customer care that's offered at airbrushes.com but also the quality and craftsmanship of the Awata uh, brand there and products. So uh, that's interesting uh, to know. The first thing that springs to mind with this uh, box that the airbrush comes into guys is absolute sheer luxury and quality. It weighs over a kilogram so um, maybe about three pounds I'd say in weight. It's very very heavy, very sturdy and well made. Um, if my camera is picking it up it's got water engraved on the metal um, clasp mechanism on the front of the case. And if I just slide it to the right, it opens up nice and smoothly there. And we can see inside what we've got is a instruction booklet for the Custom Micron. If I can just take that out for a moment, I need two hands. And this instruction booklet's just going over briefly how to use the Awata airbrush how to clean it and so on and so forth. Uh, you also get an, a water sticker for your hobby bench. And another cool feature with this airbrush is each one is individually uh, tested to make sure that it's spraying out um, the paint um, correctly and the atom atomization is absolutely fantastic. And as you can see here, it's absolutely beautiful guys. Um, very 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 special airbrush indeed this airbrush okay so what we get in the case if I just zoom in a little we get the moisture trap we get some super lubricant uh, which is brilliant to lubricate the trigger mechanism and some of the other parts of the airbrush there we also get a tool to take off the nozzle and then of course we get the custom Micron CMC Plus Okay, so now I'm going to take it out of the box and talk a little bit about some of the key features on this airbrush. So, taking a look at the 
custom Micron CMC Plus version 2 we can see how absolutely beautiful it looks in the hand the chrome is absolutely beautiful and you can probably see my reflection in the airbrush cup which is uh, a shame as um, I'm quite ugly really guys <laughs> but yeah it's beautiful to look at guys and obviously we can see that it's engraved with a water there with a CMC uh, branding uh, and also uh, plus and it's uh, made in Japan there and on the other side we can see it says a nest a water um, going over some of the key features of this airbrush Towards the back of the airbrush we have on the cutaway handle we have the preset um, mechanism which I'll from now on refer to as the paint limiting system which basically you can dial it in and out and change the travel on the trigger uh, so if I was to dial it in there I've got absolute minute travel on the airbrush trigger and what this is perfect for is if you want to get the exact same line weights over and over again. So say for example you was painting a portrait of a human and you wanted to paint wisps of hair. You could really limit the paint and get some really fine uh, details down. And it will be the exact same line weight over and over again. And obviously if you dial it out again we can see our trigger has much more movement. Um, the cutaway on the back of the handle is handy as you can move the chucking nut with your finger backwards and forwards. If you have any debris in the airbrush it does help um, clean up the airbrush there in a pinch. Also as we go towards the front of the airbrush the version 2 has a new taller trigger and a much wider uh, fingerprint area to actually hold and grip onto it's got an absolutely fantastic grip and one thing I can't actually um, show you on this video but you'll have to take my word guys is how buttery smooth and silky this trigger mechanism is and also that goes with the paint limiting system on the back it is so smooth guys it really is like the finest quality silk I absolutely just love it guys okay as we go to the front of the airbrush we can see we have what's known as the Mac valve or the micro air control valve and what this is good for is to control the airflow on your airbrush on the fly what, what that basically will do is if you set your compressor up to 30 psi for example and you was working on background spraying or wide spray patterns from further away but then you wanted to get in much closer to your object source and do finer detail work you could dial in the Mac valve like so and you'd lower the pressure via the airbrush and you could work much closer now some compressors come with um, uh, pressure gauges where you can change the pressure on the compressor but that means you've got to go from the compressor back to the airbrush and so on and so forth uh, which obviously slows things down and also with a Mac valve you can actually make micro increments uh, on the fly which is really handy like I say especially if you're doing detailed work uh, now as we go to the top of the airbrush cup we can see we've got a super uh, snug fitting lid and I have to um, say guys on the cheap uh, unbranded airbrushes the lids just don't fit right at all whereas on a quality airbrush like an Awata it fits absolutely perfect. Now as we look inside the airbrush cup we can see that it has a new taper on this version and what that uh, enables is more efficient paint flow and easier clean up of the airbrush okay guys um, I think that's it for all the key features of this airbrush what I'll do uh, next is do some paint tests uh, so we'll go and do that now 
Okay guys, so I'm all set up in my loft and I'm just going to place a little amount of paint in the airbrush cup. Just place the lid on like so and we'll do a few spray patterns and as you can see I'm able to get ridiculously small lines uh, and thin lines there. Maybe my airbrush is not picking it up, so I'll just zoom in a little. And medium spray patterns are absolutely beautiful with this airbrush as well. I can't emphasize enough, guys, how smooth. I just cut the video there guys uh, because my compressor kicked in and you wouldn't have heard what I was saying but basically what I was saying it sprays the lines so effortlessly and smooth guys and you're able to get ridiculously fine lines out of this airbrush and this is going to be absolutely perfect for painting miniatures say for example if you wanted to add um, some really nice cool colour transitions on a Space Marine shoulder pad you could do that if you wanted to paint um, shadows and highlights on a face on a miniature you could actually do that with this airbrush it is a that fine uh, of a detailed airbrush it's it's special guys it really is okay guys so you've seen the spray patterns that you're able to achieve with this airbrush absolutely uh, so fine and easily uh, achieved with this airbrush that it really is aimed at the high end of the market so if you're a serious hobbyist and you're using an Awata airbrush at the moment like an Awata Eclipse which is absolutely fantastic for most tasks and you want to take that next leap to the next level and get ultra fine detail down on your miniatures or whatever hobby it is or application you'll be using the Awata for this is the airbrush for you it does come at a premium price, but for such quality, it is to be expected, to be honest, guys. I absolutely love everything about this airbrush, guys, and it is, without doubt, the best airbrush I've had the opportunity to uh, test. And uh, again, I want to say a huge thank you to airbrushes.com, who sent me this out for review. It's a very very special airbrush indeed guys so if you own a custom micron guys let others know the quality of this airbrush um, if you're interested in the cmc head on over to airbrushes.com and you'll find out even more information on the airbrush and uh, let me know what you think of the airbrush uh, in the comments field down below thank you very much for watching this video and i'll catch you in the next one